right, let's take a look at all of these here. Doing, 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 doing. And it continues. All right. And then we got a character one. Okay. I think it's ever so slightly slow. There, there are two things that struck me. I think at the very beginning, I would take out actually three things. I would take out the texture, whoops, um, just because it, the ball is not rolling and we don't need it just yet. It's more fun here to see. I don't think at the beginning it's needed. The second thing, I would reduce the amount of squash and stretch. It might be okay on the first one, probably okay on the second one, but take 10%, <coughs> excuse me, 10% out of that. And then it gets into a lot of stretching, and especially towards the end. So on something this small, it just, it, it just becomes very wiggly. So I think once you get to here, you really want to start taking 30% out, 50% out, 70% out. So then it becomes just a bit more hard. Now, at the end, those bounces become a bit too even. It's not too bad, but there's something where you want to go bum, 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 bum. It starts to get faster and faster. And right now, it's a bit too slow towards the end. Even these guys are pretty slow, but it's okay. The distance is pretty far. But then as you get around, to me, it seems like around here. That's kind of the timing that I would have. And just randomly let me just check this is going to be very boring to watch but i would like to see timing no no can i undo it yes i can no. <laughs> oh, I need to work on my Wacom tablet skills here. You should see my fingers. They're gripping this so tightly. Let's relax. All right, let's take this. So you can see how the, sp the spacing is getting bigger. But I think you can exaggerate it. It does have a slight feel of evenness to it. And looking at the arcs are pretty okay. There's a slight feel of this being your arc. It's very sloppy, but where you can go a bit more exaggerated than the roundness to me, it feels like. They're ever so slightly too straight. <clears throat> if that makes sense. So instead of big bounces like that, they're almost a bit too flat there that coupled with the pretty even timing where i think you can you can exaggerate these where it really accelerates and then even at the end where the hang time is a bit more even sorry those lines are getting blurred here but my point is that during the ease in and out and on the apex side you want to ease in and doing 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 so you can exaggerate the the hang time just a bit more that will give you just a bit more snappiness, especially towards the end. It gets a bit too slow. The distance is a bit wide. So you go from here to here. It feels like, you know, you will, you will reduce more and more and more how far this ball travels. That would be probably my biggest thing on top of the, um, the squash and stretch, which I think is a bit too big. This one, I'm not quite sure what it's supposed to be because right now, imagine this is your your edge here. It goes doom, doom, doom. It's a bit of a mix between a squishy ball, almost like a character ball because of how long you're keeping the contact point here. This seems very deliberate versus if this was something really heavy, I would take out the squash, uh, the stretch and the squash here keep this over one frame so one frame bam next frame already back up and where is your down here 
here in your height. So imagine this is a uh, a bowling ball. You know, I will go maybe this high. Bam. And then the next one maybe this high. That's it. And then maybe roll till here. So that's my biggest thing for well, my question for you. What type of ball do you want to do here? Is it for if, if you start out with bouncing balls, I would look at something light, which you have here. And then quite the opposite, that's something heavy. So I would treat this as a bowling ball. So it's just a little bit of a roll and a slight roll back. Ever so slightly. And then this one is pretty cute though. This is your character ball. You could even on this um, anticipation there, you can almost see if it becomes too wiggly, but you could almost have a lean back. And then as you hold this, hold this for a couple more frames and start leaning forward, then you can go out here. I really like this here. I like your contrast here. Of Here does a lot of rotation there. And then probably once you get to here, boom. It seems like you're almost starting to go this way. And then it lands straight where I would probably go. Lands here and then does this and finishes here. Good, nice hang time there. And then just watch this again. One, two, three. It's a bit even in timing. One, two, three, four. Almost, huh? So you could you could exaggerate a couple of things if you're going into character stuff. So again, I'm look, I'm doing some ghosting here. This is a perspective mode, so it might be a bit skewed, but you can see how this is the first level. This is the second level of height there. Third one is around here. Last one is good. It's lower. So there is contrast, but I think you can exaggerate the height differences. So if you imagine you're having a long anticipation here, which gives you that really high jump, then from here it could be doing, doing something a bit lower and then do how high again, not what I'm doing right here, but you go maybe up to here and then that something like this or maybe then it would land here so first second then it lands here then it would be here and then i'll be here that seems pretty uneven and contrasty and then height wise that could be interesting and the rotations are cute because that's your big difference there you can almost have if it goes from here almost like that like a tiny one here And careful with um, sticky contacts because you have one, two, three, three of those. It gives it a certain amount of life, but to me, it's always when it's that sticky and it needs to be on purpose where it almost wants to hold to then do something more um, unexpected. So it jumps, holds to go somewhere else where you would expect almost like a regular bounce in direction. You would hold to do something different. So to me, I would hold this more to start with anticipation then do your jumps. I think even this one, there's two of those. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of stickiness there. It gives it a certain feel, but I'm, I usually kind of tend to be on the less sticky side unless it's on purpose, if that makes sense. So it's it's a bounce unless you want to stop and hold to go somewhere or really hold that squash to go higher. Um, to me, I would always put those stickiness, uh, those sticky frames there for a reason. But that's about it. It's a great start. So I would just look at your weight for something very light and something very heavy. To make that just mostly just um, in terms, you know, it's, it's purely physics and weight properties. Whereas this one is cartoony where you can do whatever you want. So what I meant for the first one is would be a traditional basketball type of weight. The other one I would do really heavy. Do something really heavy like a bowling ball. 
cannonball or something. Um, and then that would be your middle where it's you can do kind of whatever you want character wise. All right. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.